As you become more familiar editing with Premiere Pro CC, you can save a considerable amount of time as you work using keyboard shortcuts. Shortcut number one, zooming in and out of the timeline. To get a closer look at your timeline sequence at the playhead position, press the equal sign key. To zoom back out again, press the minus key. You can press either of these multiple times to zoom in or out more. Shortcut number two, match frame. As you edit, there may be times when you want to see a clip that's in your timeline in your source monitor. The shortcut for this is to move the playhead in your timeline to the frame of the clip that you want to see in your source window, and then press F on your keyboard. The clip will appear in your source window with the playhead at the same point as the clip in your timeline. Shortcut number three, the razor tool. To create an edit in your timeline sequence, you'd usually need to go to the tools panel, choose the razor tool, and then make your add edit. The shortcut to create an add edit at the timeline playhead position is Command K on a Mac and Control K on a PC. Shortcut number four, paste attributes. If you've made a video or audio adjustment on one clip and want to apply the same adjustment to multiple clips, click to select the adjusted clip in your timeline and then press Command C on a Mac or Control C on a PC to copy it, and then select the clip or clips that you want to paste those attributes or adjustments to, and press Option Command V on a Mac or Control Alt V on a PC. The Paste Attributes window will open. Shortcut number five, opening the clip speed duration window. Normally, to add a speed adjustment to a selected clip in your sequence timeline, you'd need to go to the clip menu and then choose speed duration. A shortcut to open the clip speed duration window after you've selected a clip in your timeline is Command R on a Mac and Control R on a PC. Shortcut number six, raising or lowering audio for a clip. You can adjust the volume level for a clip in your timeline by dragging the volume line up or down using your mouse. The shortcut for raising your clip audio one decibel at a time is to press the right bracket key. The shortcut for lowering your clip audio one decibel at a time is the left bracket key. To raise the audio level of a selected clip by six decibels at a time, press shift right bracket. And to lower the audio level of a selected clip by six decibels at a time, press shift left bracket. Shortcut number seven top and tail editing. Instead of trimming the beginning or end of your clip, a great shortcut is the top and tail editing feature. To delete a section of a clip to the left of your timeline playhead or a top edit, press Q. To delete a section of a clip to the right of your timeline playhead or a tail edit, press W. A nice feature of top and tail editing is that you can do this on the fly without pausing playback, which works especially well when you're cutting to music. And finally, shortcut number eight, undo. We can't leave out one of the most important shortcuts of all, undo. If you make a mistake and catch it, you can just press Command Z on a Mac or Control Z on a PC. If you don't notice your mistake for a while, you can keep pressing Command Z or Control Z until you return to the point before the mistake was made.